What's going on everybody? Stanley Parrish here. Welcome back to the show. I hope you're having a creative day today. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to go from this photo that you see on the left to the photo that's on the right. So, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, here we go guys. So right now I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this view right here. Let's go back to the normal view. And like I said, this is the uh, this is the before picture right here, and straight out of the camera, and this is after. All right, so I'm gonna try to remember my steps. A lot of people, uh, I posted this picture on Facebook and Instagram. A lot of people asked me how um, was I able to get this result, you know, from the picture being underexposed. And a lot of people don't know, but I, I tend to underexpose a lot in my photos simply because uh, when you're underexposed, you can keep your highlights down and the colors are often richer too when you're underexposed. So so this this effect, um, when well not effect, but this, this won't work with everybody now. You have to know the limitations of your camera. I know with my camera, um, I have a Nikon D750. I know that the dynamic range in this camera is awesome. Like, I mean, I can be underexposed and I can bring the photo back like nothing you know it's easy so that's why I do this keep my highlights down and I know I can bring my shadows back up in post so let's go ahead and get to it okay so the first thing that I do is I go down here to my HSL sliders and I'm gonna bring my skin tones up the I'm gonna bring the luminance up on my red and orange I'm gonna bring it all the way up Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a curve, a S curve here. This is just something I do, you know, when I get started, I always add a little S curve. All right. The next thing you want to do is bring the shadows up. I normally put maybe like 40, start out with like 40. And next I'm gonna bring my exposure up. Just bring the exposure all the way up until you get something you like. Maybe, okay, we'll try that 1.7. Then I'm gonna bring the contrast down a little bit. Negative 10. Okay, so we can see now since I brought the exposure up, the highlights came, uh, the highlights are almost blown out too. So I'm gonna to bring my highlights down. It's maybe like negatives. You see now, since we're bringing the highlights down, we're getting some of that detail back in the background. So maybe like negative 75 on the highlights. And then I'm going to bring my whites up a little bit, maybe like 30. Yep. I'm going to bring the clarity up to about 5, just to give it a little bit of clarity. What the clarity does, um, it adds a little contrast and it also sharpens the image a little bit. Okay. Then another thing that I do is I go ahead and add sharpening. I probably put maybe like 55. And this image is slightly kind of soft. So I'm going to add the radius, maybe 1.2, maybe, just to give it a little sharpening. All right. And then the masking on the sharpening, I'm going to bring this up. If you, hold, if you drag the masking slider and you hold the Alt key, it changes to black and white. And all the white that you see, that's what's going to be sharpened in the image. So I'm just going to, I don't want the whole image to be sharpened. So I'm just going to bring it. So is where you can see maybe like the white in the hair and her eyes. Say maybe like 49, 50. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go back up to the top and we're gonna change the white balance. I'm gonna cool it down a little bit right now. The temperature at, is at 6750. I'm just gonna slide it down back to the cool end. So let's say maybe about 
sister 200 okay and I'm also going to add a little bit of magenta to the tint maybe like two so the next thing I'm going to do is go back to the curves and I'm going to drop my shadows just a little bit more just to darken her shirt in the shadow areas like that this last point that you see right here on the left side, I'm going to bring this up and that's going to raise the blacks. It's going to give it kind of like a faded look. So I'm going to raise that up just a little bit. You don't want to go too far because you'll get something like this. Which too, well, it just depends on how you like it. How faded, you know, that you want your image to look. I don't want it to look that faded. So I'm going to bring it back down some. About like that. And you can just keep adjusting these points until you get something that you like. I'm going to bring that up. Um, boom. Okay, so if we go back to the photo here. You can see the this photo is, is very warm and has a lot of reds. So that's the next thing we're going to do now. And one way to do it is to, is to use the curves. I'm going to go here to where it says channel RGB. I'm going to go to my red channel. And I'm just going to place a point on, in the middle, on the left, and on the right. Okay. So I'm going to bring the red up in the shadows. So I'm going to bring this up. You see, you see there? How it made the photo red. We don't want that much red. I want to bring it down a little bit, maybe right there. I think that'll work. And I'm also going to bring the red down in the highlights. Just to add a little bit more cyan to the highlights. We're going to bring it down a little bit. Just a tad. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the blue channel. I'm going to place three points, one on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. So you can see since we added more reds to the shadows, it made it kind of turn her, her shirt. It kind of made her shirt red. So we don't want that. If you zoom in, we don't want the shirt to be red because her shirt is black. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to raise the blue in the in the black in the dark areas here I'm gonna raise that up a little bit like that also I'm gonna go back to the red channel and I'm gonna bring this point down bring the red down in the uh, shadow areas just a little bit there we go all right Go back to the blue channel and zoom back out. Oh, that's looking better. All right, so I also want to add some yellows to the highlight. So on the right side of this graph, we're still on the blue channel. I'm going to bring this point down because the opposite of blue is yellow, right? So we're going to bring the blue down on the right side to introduce more yellows to the highlights. Bring this down. See, if we go all the way down, you can see how it's turning yellow in the highlights. But that's a little bit too much. So we're going to bring it back up a little bit. Maybe about right. Right there. Okay. Alright, so let's come on down. This is the fun part where you get to play with all the colors. The HSL sliders. Okay, so a lot of times I like to desaturate my image. So I'm going to desaturate the red. I'm going to bring like negative 20. Negative 20 on the orange. But we're going to bring those colors back later. Okay, so now I'm going to start up here in the red where it says hue. We're just going to just change these sliders. I mean, the, the important part is just to play around. Just drag these sliders back and forth until you get something you like. So if you drag this red to the right, it's going to take out some of the reds and make it more like orange. More like the skin tone. Say maybe like plus 40, 
and we're going to drag the orange side to the left make it more red like negative six and then the blue I want the blue to look more like um, like an aqua cyan color so I'm going to move the blue to the left to make it more of that um, that teal look like negative 24 all right so now we're going to add some more color we're going to go all the way down here to the calibration okay so a lot of people don't use this tool right here in Lightroom uh, the calibration tool is very powerful um, you can use it to color grade your images uh, you can use it to fix skin tones you, as you can see here you got the shadows you got the red primary green primary blue primary so you can adjust all these colors and just play around with it so the first thing I'm gonna do I like to add magenta to the shadows I'm gonna make Sorry, that I'm not sure I'm gonna make my shadows I'm gonna make the tint maybe like 10 I'm going I'm gonna show you what happens when you bring it all the way up see it adds more red <clears throat> when you drag it all the way to the right it's gonna add more red magenta so I'm gonna bring it down some maybe like 10 I'm gonna drag this red let's see what the red is doing I'm gonna bring the red to the right because see if, again if you bring this red to the left if you slide it to the left it's gonna add more pink let's zoom back in we don't want it to look pink like that so I'm gonna just move it over to the to the right a little bit maybe like five zoom back out I'm gonna increase the saturation on the red primary so if you drag it to the left it takes all the red out so we're gonna bring it over to the right there we go see now with the image now we're starting to get that color back in her skin that's too much 100 uh, let's try more like 60 alright that looks good the green primary I'm gonna move this over to the right if you drag it to the left it gets more like yellowish greenish if you drag it to the right it gives it more like a warm tone red so I'm gonna say maybe like 15 on the green the blue primary I normally like to bring this over to the left a little bit because if you go to the right this is what you get okay we don't want that go to the left this is what you get but I don't want I don't really want it to be too orange and teal uh, so that's a little bit too much I'm gonna say maybe like negative five on the blue primary then I'm gonna bring up the saturation too on the blue primary see now we're getting some of those colors back that we lost before so like let's say maybe like 50 on the saturation all right that's starting to look good already as you can see here that's my original edit and looking at this I can see that I added some yellow to the highlights so let's do that let's go ahead and add some yellow to the highlights so the way we're going to do that is when we're going to go to the split toning area what you can do is you can add specific colors to your highlights and your shadows so let's say right in this situation we want to add more yellow to the highlights so what we're going to do is we're going to click this little square where it says highlights and there's a yellow box right here you just want to click on that okay you can see how it changed the color and it's only affecting the highlights so you have blue right here yellow you can pick any kind of colors you want but we want that that nice yellow color right there all right so the saturation is at 64 that's a little bit too much we want to bring it down a little bit maybe like Uh, maybe like 20 and that's pretty much it you guys that's it that's it right there I tried to keep this short and simple I'm sorry um, if this lasted a little bit longer but I hope you were able to get something out of it so that's the end of this tutorial you guys I hope you're able to learn something if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please hit that subscribe button share this video with all your friends and family and I'll see you on the next one. Oh yeah I almost forgot the preset, I'm going to make this preset available for free for you to download. 
All you have to do is check the link down in the description below. Download the preset. Let me know how it works for you. Let me know if you're able to use it. Thank you so much, guys.